Life Stallions, what's up? Kena Barber here, back with another video. Today's video is gonna be on the Babyliss Pro Disinfecting Solution Box, which is gonna be this Barber Sonic right here. Had this in the shop for a few weeks, got a chance to use this, and I'm gonna let you guys know whether we're going to crown or trash this Barber Sonic Box by Babyliss Pro. So before we get into this, you already know what to do, guys. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up if you like the content and follow me on my Instagram page at Kimmy Lifestyle. So without further ado, let's roll that intro. Here it is guys, the Babyliss Pro Barber Sonic Box. Now, before we open this up, we are going to go over some of the details that said about this Barber Sonic Box on the box here. Uh, as a disclaimer, I already opened this up, so this is not my first time opening up this box, but I wanted to reopen it up with you guys. So let's go over some of the details here. So the box is gonna come in all black. You're gonna see half of the actual Sonic Box here. On the bottom here, you're gonna see that label there. Babyliss Pro Barber Sonic. Underneath that, you're gonna see Professional Disinfectant Solution Box. On the very top of the box, you're gonna see Barber Sonic Professional Disinfectant Solution Box. And then it's gonna say, use an automatic cleaning cycle to clean your shears, blades, guards, and combs. Basically all the things that you can put inside this box here. On the back, you're gonna see some description it says about this box. So the very first one is gonna say, first to market, meaning that Babyliss Pro is the first company to create something like this for barbers. Sonic vibration, LED light, automatic spring lock, auto on and off cleaning cycle, dual soaking department, removable guard tray, cord or cordless, works with batteries. And if you wanna do batteries, it says it requires 3C batteries, but it's not included, the batteries. And then that's gonna be pretty much it as far as all the details about this box. Let's get this bad boy open. So here is the box, guys. It is actually a little smaller than I originally thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger. It's one of those things where if you have a small station, you might have an issue with because, um, again, this is pretty wide. But again, it's not too big. It is a good size, so you're gonna definitely have to make some room on your station for this box. Going over the box here, you see the Babyliss Pro on the box there. That looks like there's a sticker right here of Babyliss Pro on the very top. You're gonna see the handle, which the handle is kinda, feels like it's a little rubber grip on the handle, which is kinda cool. Here's gonna be where you open it up. You just push it up to open it. On the back of this box here is where you see the on and off button there. And here is gonna be where you plug in your adapter to plug it in the wall. This long slot here is for your batteries. You just slide it off and you can see that you can put in your batteries right there. If you wanna be cordless, so if you're traveling and you wanna bring this box with you, um, you're able to just use the batteries. On the bottom here, you're gonna just see some little um, four rubber grips there so it doesn't slide on your station. On the side here, it's a little hard to see, but it says fill line, and then you're gonna see a little line there. Once you put your barber side solution in, you fill the rest up with the water to this line here. And then also on this side, you're gonna see the fill line on this side as well. So that's pretty much all the details on the actual box. Let's open this bad boy up. So when you have the box open, it's gonna come with your adapter. Let's open this up. So this adapter right here, this piece right here is gonna go in the back and you're gonna need like a USB box or something like that to plug in the wall for this because it does not come with this. So if you have like a iPhone charger, you can just use that. And then this is gonna be the actual tray. It's gonna come in this plastic here. This is also, I believe it is removable. On the side here, you're gonna see uh, some tape here. So let's remove this tape. And it's also gonna be a piece of tape here on this side. All right, so you are able to remove this if you wanna do that as well, which is kinda of cool. So if you already cleaned your guards and you just wanna have more space here, you can do that as well. And real easy, you just slide it back in there. And each of these slots is gonna be for your guard. And this is pretty cool that this is removable because if you have like um, detachable guards, they could fit in here. You could do it, it does work, but you can also um, remove this as well. And, and then you can just put all your guards in there like that. On the very bottom right here, this is gonna be the line here for your barber side, which is gonna be about a 1 16th. So that's how much barber side you would need to fill this up. And then again, the rest is gonna be with water, which 
Again, you have the fill lines on both sides of the box so you're able to see how much water to put in. So that's good, they give you the exact measurements you need of water and barber side for this box. So before we start putting in some of our items in here, let's plug this bad boy up. So we're gonna plug this up right now. The cord is pretty long. So to turn it on, you just push the button on the top and then to turn it off, you just push it down. So we're gonna turn it on right now. So we have it all plugged in and turned on. So here is my barber side. We're going to pour this in this area right here and fill this up to that 1 16th line. So we have the barber side inside there. Once you go over that, then you know you pour too much, but I can still see that. So we're pretty good on that. So for my hair washing sink, I'm gonna use that water to fill this up to that line. So again, on the very top here, you're gonna see the different guard sizes that you need to put inside these slots here. That's why you see some of them are bigger and then smaller. So let's put in our guard. So starting with the first one, we have the half guard. The one slot, this is gonna be the one and a half, the two, the three, the four, the five, and the six. So we have all the slots filled. Okay, so for this department right here is where you're gonna put your combs and your shears. I never really put shears inside my barberside jar, but for this video, we're gonna put my shears in here. Starting off with my clipper comb. Now that can be an issue because it doesn't fit. This is a Johnny B clipper comb. I love using, I have like a dozen of these combs. These are my favorite combs to use. So if you guys wanna know what I like to use for a clipper over comb, it's gonna be this Johnny B comb. The width of it, it fits, but it's just too long. I'm gonna put my shears in here. And then I have this brush. Let's see if this brush can fit. Okay, so the brush fits in there. So I have all my stuff in there. Let's close up this box. So as soon as you shut the box, it starts to vibrate. And the reason why it's vibrating is because it's kind of shaking off all those hairs as it's running through that solution there. And the light basically is just a light indicator to let you know when this is done. So I think this takes about 10 minutes for it to do its thing. And then after 10 minutes, this will stop. You'll be all done and all your tools should come out pretty clean. So this is finished running through its cycle. So this has been about 10 minutes now. As you see, I have my towel and I have a paper towel on top of it. Usually I like to air dry my tools once I've dip them in the barber side. Another thing that I like to do, actually I like to rinse my tools off using water first before I put them in the solution. So I don't like to put my tools in really dirty and then set them in there. So I think the best way to use this is to rinse off your tools first with water. And then once you do that, then you put it inside the box here. That's the way I like to do it. If I'm wrong, leave a comment, let me know guys and put a crown on there or thumbs up or something. Let me know if I'm right or wrong, guys. All right, so let's open this up. All right, so we got this opened. Everything looks and feel pretty clean. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set everything on the paper towel and let it air dry. So I have everything on the paper towel here, letting it air dry. And again, if you are pushing for time, then obviously you can just wipe everything off and, and do your thing. The way I like to do it, I like to air dry it. So I think the way I will use this is before I leave, I will put it in there for about 10 minutes while I'm cleaning up my station, take it out, let it air dry and come back and I'm all good to go. So here is my barber side jar. Now, just to let you guys know, if you was to dump this water right now inside this barber side jar, it would actually fill this up perfectly. So this is basically the same size as this, as far as the amount of solution you need of barber side and water. Although this is a box and this is obviously a jar.
So one thing I would say, if you do want to fit some of your flat top combs, if you take out the tray here and you just put it in sideways, it can fit in there. You can probably get two flat top combs in there, but it definitely won't fit on the top here. And also the Barber Sonic box come with a template. So this will give you some more information and details about the Sonic box. Uh, so the template's gonna look like this, guys. So if you guys are into reading templates, you're gonna have one for the Barber box. Let's talk about pricing for the new Sonic box from Babyliss Pro. It's gonna be around $100. Now I ended up getting mine from my local barber supply store, Elegant Barber Zone. I will leave that link in the description below, guys, if you are interested in getting one of these. I do know that he does give a pretty good deal for these, so hit him up if you guys are interested in getting one of these. So pros and cons for the new Babyliss Pro Barber Sonic box, and we'll start off with the pros first. So with the pros, I do like the design and the look of the box. I think it's really dope. I do like that it's not too big. You can't fit it on your station. You just gotta make some room for it. I do like the fact that the Sonic box does work. It will clean up your tools and your combs and stuff like that pretty well. So it does a great job with that. And just a little bit of the technology behind it, you know, is being corded or cordless. Of course, you need the batteries if you want it to be cordless, but it does have that option, which is another dope thing as well. And it has that removable tray, which you're able to add in different guards as well if you need to clean off your other guards. I was worried at first that it wouldn't be able to fit my Johnny B clipper comb, but it does, so you just gotta remove that slot for the guards. You can barely fit it in there, but it will fit. And another pro I would say, you get a two-year warranty on the Barber Sonic Box. So let's talk about the cons on the brand new Sonic Box by Babyliss Pro. First con I would say is the pricing. $100, I'm not sure about that one, guys. I think that maybe it should be around 50 to 60. I think that'd be a better deal for the box. If you can get it under $100, will be a good deal for it. So another con I would say will be the space. You can't fit too many items inside the Sonic Box versus having the barberside jar. I feel like the barberside jar, you can fit a lot more comb brushes, even a pick, which I like to use. My pick is really long, so it definitely would not fit inside that Sonic Box. I know it's a little tricky because you don't want a huge box because then where are you gonna put it on your station? If you're comparing it to the barberside jar, again, the barberside jar can fit a little bit more items inside of it versus the Sonic Box. So that's gonna be pretty much it as far as the pros and cons on the brand new Sonic Box. Now let's talk about are we going to crown or trash the new Babyliss Pro Sonic Box. And today guys, we are going to crown the new Babyliss Pro Box. And the reason why I'm gonna crown it is because, well, I do like it and I will be using it in the shop. I think it's a great idea that Babyliss did. And just the fact that it gives you the perfect measurements as far as the solution and water. And I'm always gonna be about having better sanitation for your tools. I do like that they give you that right amount. If you guys ever wondered how much solution to put in, you got the box here and you're able to put in exactly the right amount every time and get a perfect clean. What's not to like about the new Barber Sonic other than it's a little steep of a price. So that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this new Babyliss Pro Barber Sonic box. Are you going to grab or are you gonna pass on it? Let me know in the comment section. And that's gonna be it today, guys. I hope to see you on the next video.